With all of the uncertainty in the world, I thought it would be a good time for a shelter pet slumber party. Well, it took a while, but everyone finally settled down. It was mostly Salt, this little one here, who just wanted to explore and lick my face. There's a lot of homeless pets in the community and I was trying to figure out different ways to showcase them. And I thought maybe if I spent the night in the shelter, people would get a different perspective and see what that animal might be like when it's quieter. It also gives me perspective of what life is like for them while they're here. The animal absolutely love the slumber party and I really focus on an animal that can be helped. The slumber party tonight is in Kitty Corner. It's going to be an interesting night. I'm super excited. This week I am here with Sebastian. You turn on the TV and it's scary news and it was like, we need something happy. The animals here still need home, so it just seemed like now was a good time to remind people to come out and adopt. I'm actually in the main lobby, and I have let out all of the cats that are in Meow Manor. All of the cats that you will see in this video are currently available for adoption at Foothills Animal. My hope was maybe someone will see a glimpse of what this animal might be like at home, and that would then make them want to come in and adopt. It's difficult sometimes when you're walking through a shelter to imagine what that animal might look like in your house. But if someone's laying on a bed and the cat or the dog comes up and cuddles with you, that's easier for people to recognize as behavior that they would see at the house. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Okay. I try to find the dogs that need the most attention. So it's the dogs that have been with us longer, that are just getting passed over, because those are the ones that really need the help and need the visibility. Who could resist? Now is a great time to foster during COVID-19. There's a big movement right now to get fosters for as many animals as possible to make room for the ones that you still anticipate coming in. So maybe when life does get back to normal, I'm hoping that it's gonna bring a resurgence to the importance of adoption and more people willing to foster and shed light on how many animals there are in shelters. <laughs> he's, he's a silly boy. I've been an animal welfare for almost 25 years. It's very gratifying for me to actually see an animal that was really scared or was afraid of people come up and cuddle with me and sleep with me because it's also helping them realize that people aren't bad. Hey, be nice. I don't get a lot of sleep, but I leave every time feeling really good. It's mutually beneficial for, for all of us. They're getting adopted, they're getting attention, and I have a satisfaction knowing that I brought a little comfort to them, even if it was just for a night. Like, comment, and subscribe.